Assalamu alaikum. In this presentation, we'll go through how a simple modification to the square knot can provide a knot that can slide along one of its uh, suture strands uh, into a position further away from the surgeon. This will be helpful if you are working in a deep wound or a deep cavity, or if you are carrying a microscopic or endoscopic uh, surgery. This is the type of the knot that you require in a situation like this when you need to place a knot in a deep cavity or a deep wound where there is little room for maneuvering to tie a knot. You um, form the knot outside the cavity by a square knot just by the usual uh, two units of half reefs in opposite direction. Keep one end of the uh, suture strand straight under tension, glide the knot along this straight um, suture into position, and once it is in its final position, you snug down the uh, knot tightly and put on an extra knot to uh, secure it in its final position. And this half hitch knot is formed of two basic elements. The, the first is to keep one end of the suture strand, the black end in this example, uh, straight by applying constant tension on it. And the other is to wrap the other end, the white end here, uh, around the black to form two half reef uh, units in opposite direction. So if you wrap it in the clockwise direction in the first half reef, you do it in the anti-clockwise direction in the second half reef unit. And essentially you have now formed a square knot. But this, uh, by applying constant tension on one side, you can slide the formed knot along this uh, straight uh, uh, strand into any desired position before finally securing the position of your knot. Essentially, the sliding knot is a modified square knot. And the more usual way of tying a square knot, you have the two ends of the uh, suture with a little bit of flexibility. They both form two open loops, the white and the black, with the same color of the uh, open loop uh, number one coming out on the same side of the open loop number two. With the slight modification for the sliding knot, you also form two small, uh, you can see it as two small open loops here formed by the black, uh, but in opposite direction, one is uh, wrapped in the opposite direction of the other. And this configuration allows the surgeon to slide this knot into any desired position along the tensed other end until it sits in the position required and then tension applied on one end of the uh, other strand, the black strand, and this would tighten uh, the uh, knot securely. And this is to demonstrate how the sliding knot is being formed. The two essential things is to keep one end of the strand, the black end here, straight, and then to wrap the white end on the black end twice in two opposite directions. So if you form the first half reef unit in one direction, to form the other in the other direction. And, and here we are, we've got the uh, sliding knot in position with an open white loop and the two ends of the white strand coming out on the same side of the white loop. And this knot can slide along the uh, straight black end up and down into the desired position. Uh, wherever you want to place it finally, then you can snug it down. And just after this, you apply one more throw to secure it in position. So once the sliding knot is formed, it slide down or up or down into the desired position you want. It slides smoothly over the other end. And once in position, once in the desired position, you need to secure this by an extra throw. So you have another extra throw of the strands 
to uh, secure the uh, the knot into its final position. So that's basically it. A slight modification of the square knot to allow uh, the formation of a knot that can slide along one of its uh, suture strands into any desired position further away from the surgeon in a deep wound or a deep cavity or when you are doing endoscopic or microscopic procedures. Salam alaikum.